Heights. And of course, we had a lot of damage here in Northern California as well, flooding down trees and power outages. But as ABC 10 Chief Meteorologist Monica Woods explains, there was also a major upside to our recent weather. The power of atmospheric rivers is on full display as the state deals with hazardous mudslides, flooding, and wide-scale power outages. Those storms, though, also providing beneficial rain and snow. We've seen a, a large amount of recovery in how much water we have in our snowpack um, compared to the deficit that we were in even a week ago. In fact, those storms boosted the snowpack by about 25 percent, helping to dig parts of the Sierra out of drought conditions. And the long range forecast is now starting to show more signs of a typical El Nino pattern, favoring a wetter than average Southern California. There are so many other factors that go into seasonal precipitation and things like that, but of course, uh, you know, the Southern Sierra does benefit from El Nino and, our, and we're starting to see that. One other factor playing into the water year is our pulses of warm and even record setting temperatures. These warm temperatures can be particularly problematic in the winter because our snowpack, of course, is going to melt early and flow downstream. And when you combine that with water that's coming in from uh, resources like rain, then we can potentially have that released from our reservoirs. Andrew says since California is governed by weather extreme it's important to not just focus on statistical averages. We're entering that drier time of year here in about four to six weeks, but that doesn't mean we can't have big storms later on that catch us up.